Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video, just want to let you know that this Wednesday I will be live streaming the newest addition to Blade and Soul. It is the Silver Frost Mountains expansion. Now it is coming a little bit sooner, and I know some people have some mixed feelings about the rate at which this was released when compared to the last weapon upgrades that we got. Especially those who already know what the progression is supposed to look like in the free-to-play version of Blade and Soul. For those of you who don't know, Silver Frost Mountains comes with a variety of new things. Level 50 and Hong Moon level 10 are some to start. A few new dungeons, I believe it's a total of five new blue dungeons and three new heroic dungeons, which are like the ones that we have now, Naryu Labyrinth, which come in a four and six player variety as per usual. There's also two new 24 player zones, unique Grand Harvest Square event, new main story missions, a new capital city, uh, more clan crafting, weapon pr uh, progression continues, a new PvP faction area called the Soulstone Plain, so it's a bunch of stuff. Now, um, I am going to be playing it, as I said at the beginning of the video. And this is going to be kind of uh, my test. I've, as you guys know, I've done a bunch of sponsored Blade and Soul stuff, and I've generally enjoyed the game up to this point. Uh, the biggest thing for me now is seeing, are they going to do something to mitigate the need for a massive amount of materials and gold in order to upgrade? Because I'm not somebody who's ever going to main play Blade and Soul. I don't want to feel like I'm doing stuff that nobody's doing anymore in order to get caught up. And I know that's a little bit weird considering what happens in Final Fantasy XIV, but it's a little bit easier to get caught up in that game whenever you fall behind than it is here in Blade and Soul. So I'm really watching Silver Frost. I will be doing sponsored streams. I will be doing a few sponsored videos. And depending on how we feel, that may or may not be the last bit of sponsored things that I do for Blade and Soul. If I'm not, as soon as I stop enjoying the game, I will not do any more sponsored stuff. Pretty much is what I'm saying right here. So Silver Frost is my test. Uh, I will do sponsored for Silver Frost. If I don't like it, that'll be the last sponsored Blade and Soul event we have. If I do like it and they do fix the issue with getting caught up and some of the other issues that are in the game right now, then we will be continuing it on the YouTube channel anyway just want to let you guys know i was doing that so be sure to come by wednesday to check out the expansion see if it's something you're interested in hopping back into and find out if they're going to be incorporating any other things that'll help keep players caught up it sounds like soulstone plains is a nice way of doing it but that also it's also a level 50 zone and I, that would mean i have to go from 45 to 50 with a non-upgraded weapon or not doing any weapon upgrades if i'm understanding this correctly uh, if you have some information about the weapon upgrade system as you know it is from the other regions be sure to post it in the comment section so people who are watching this can get a rough idea of what they're getting themselves into anyway thank you for watching this video be sure to come by the stream on wednesday tomorrow don't think i'll be live until state of the realm just because we're moving to san diego Woohoo! so i will see you guys wednesday for the blade and soul live stream a few sponsored ones coming in the next week and until then everyone have a good night and take care